Hello and welcome back to The Crew 2. Uh, it's been a little while since I've been on here, but uh, the first month season pass cars have just been added. So I now have a KTM Crossbow R and, rather more excitingly, a Ferrari FXXK, which is touring car class. And the Crossbow is street race class, so I think we'll start by jumping into the Crossbow. There we go. Uh, and seeing what we can do with this, because street race class should have more customization than the Ferrari. We'll try that. There's no hoods option, but there is front bumper, which adds a little. Oh, hang on, it adds sort of headlight covers. That one. It's basically changing the headlights. You can have full green. Okay, that's quite cool. Standard headlights, but with the front. Bit. Ooh. Okay, I think that one. Rooms. Okay, we'll leave those alone. Mirrors. Oh, we can't change calipers. Mirrors. Green stem. Carbon stem with green mirrors. I quite like that actually. Might not keep it green, but. Okay, that basically adds more bodywork to the side. No, I think we'll leave that. Oops. Rear wing. Whoa. I don't normally go for the big wing, but it might as well. Why not? Okay, that's got slightly different exhausts. I think the standard rear lights I like, it's just about... Ooh. Which exhaust do we go for? Interior colour? We can actually do the interior colour. Ooh, wow. I think blue. Doesn't go very well with the green, but I'm definitely changing that. Maybe a nice orange. I think I'm going to go with the orange. There we go. That looks nice. So whilst we're here in the house, uh, we might as well see if there's anything we can do with the Ferrari. Or not, I mean, it's a touring car so it's unlikely, and it's a Ferrari, so it's unlikely. That's pretty amazing, we've been given that before we've got anywhere near the LaFerrari. Not complaining. Rims. That's it. Rims. I should have known that. Touring car. I mean, I can change the colour. I will, because red's just too obvious. Especially Rosso Corsa. Black looks quite nice. Yellow. I'm tempted to go for that blue, though. One of these blues. We could change time of day, that would be nice. I'm going to go with that for now. Right, well, I think we should take them both for a drive. As we're in this, we might as well. As you might expect, it's fast. Oh, and it's got active error on that rear wing, I like that.
really both of these cars are best off on a track. The Prosper kind of track toy sort of car and this, well the same really, it can't compete in any races in it. I know it's called a touring car on here but... Ferrari XX program. It doesn't even allow you to keep your own car. This isn't the final colour I'm going with on it. I might end up doing it yellow or orange or something. Okay, I should have seen that one. What's the interior like? I've now got a car that can win every touring car race I enter, so... Oh, it turns... Oh, I can't see where I'm going. Lights in this car are not good. Is there a track we can go to? I think whilst we're here on the road though, I should probably try out the other car. Oops, wrong view. Flipped it too many times. There we go. Is that a speed trap I spot up ahead? That's on a different road. That's not. Well, that was quite straightforward. While we're on the road, it's probably worth switching to the crossbow for a little while, then we'll find a track in a minute. Neither of these upgraded in any way. Oh, there's a truck behind me. That spoiler is ridiculous, I might have to take that off. It does kind of work on this car though. A lot of road cars does Oh, that was a bit laggy. What is interior view like on this? Look at that. Surely it shouldn't say ready to race on the screen once you've set off. But it only said that before you started the car. And I am ready to race. I like this. I like this more than the Ferrari, I think. The Ferrari has a great noise and it's really quick, but this is more enjoyable. I'm assuming this is street race class. Well, it's not going to be hypercar, is it? Okay, where's the nearest track? Are there even any tracks here? That's a track. That'll do. Travel 2. Let's go, let's take this round a bit. And we'll get in the Ferrari.
out onto the straight. This is going to be really held back by top speed, but it might be faster than the Ferrari through the corners, I think. And possibly accelerating, because it's so light. I don't know which way to go there. Mm -hmm. You're not in a race, it doesn't tell you where to go, obviously. I mean, these tracks get a bit confusing because there's several layouts for them. That corner was sharper than I was expecting. Somehow I ended up on a different loop, on the inner loop. Oh well. Mm -hmm. This car's pretty good around a track actually, it's fun to drive around here. Even with the dodgy automatic gearbox you have to use in here. Start the slalom, mm -hmm. slalom, slalom to avoid going through there. It's probably time for the Ferrari, isn't it? I think because I set it to my favourite in the house, I can just quick swap to it. You've seen enough of me driving this round, it's pretty fun. Looks mad with that spoiler on it, doesn't it? I mean, wow! I think Ferrari. Whoa! So fast compared to it. We're at 195 already. Oh, it's a bit slidey. bit sharp on turning as well, I think this is going to be easier for interior, isn't it? Oh, that's that sharp corner that I missed last time. Race mode, of course it's in race mode. Nice. There goes, 200. Start the event there. Oh, the speed around there. It's amazing how fast we can go in this thing. You said nearly going off the track. It's not going to take very long to do this lap, is it? We'll switch back to exterior view for the very end. Oh, drifting. Almost bad, I've crashed it. Going around to the end of the lap now. So there we go, uh, tested out the two new cars, and here we are with a nice photo of the LaFerrari. I'll just. LaFerrari FXXK. Well, it is a LaFerrari, but. 
show driver off. We don't want that, do we? We want the headlights on, that looks good. Turn everything else off, I think. Otherwise, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm quite pleased with the choice of colour. I think it's a Zero Dino, that blue. Anyway, yeah, both nice to drive. I think I do actually prefer the crossbow. This is quicker, obviously, and sounds better. But yeah, the crossbow is more controllable. Out on track, this might have been better, actually. On the road, the, well, that makes sense. This is a track-only car, and that's road legal, technically. But both track cars, both nice. So if you've got the season pass, you'll have them already. Uh, if you haven't, you'll get them in a couple of days' time, I think. So <coughs> definitely have a go with them both. And you get given them free in the game. You don't have to buy them or anything. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, like if you have. Uh, and subscribe for more. Be back on the crew too for more videos soon.